everyone, it's Heidi and welcome to today's episode of Baby Name Sunday. So today's list, we are doing another ultra long list of 50 genderless name options that I feel will be trendy and are definitely modern for 2021 and beyond. Now a ton of these, I was so surprised with their rankings. It's just so interesting to see where everything's moving, what hidden gems I was able to find, and man, I have a list for you today. But before I get into it, if you guys haven't already subscribed yet, make sure you guys hit that red subscribe button down below, hit the bell notification right beside it as well so you guys don't miss any of my videos. And then also go over to Instagram, I'm always posting name content on there when I am not posting a video on here. Also, yesterday I uploaded a cat, unique kitty cat names list. So make sure you guys go check that out. It was so funny and you guys, you guys will see it. I was dying laughing. So without further talking, let's get into this list of 50 genderless name options. Options I can see booming in 2021 and beyond. First name on this genderless name list, I have the name Asland, spelled A-Z-L-A-N-D, Asland. I am in love with this spelling. So it's a variant from the Turkish name Aslan, meaning lion. Next name on the list here, I have the name Taylan, so T-A-Y-L-A-N. Now, as you guys can see, this one's very, very close for boys and the girls side. So really a true unisex genderless name. And it's actually a variant of Taylor and Dylan, meaning son of the sea or a tailor. Number three, one of Davian's favorites on the list is the name Griffin. So G-R-I-F-F-I-N, Griffin. And this one's Welsh originated, meaning strong lord. I am predicting right now it's going to boom in the future for all genders. Then we have a place inspired name here next. It's the name Rio. So R-I-O, more shorter, sweet and simple. It's also a Japanese originated name meaning place of the cherry blossom, or it's Spanish originated meaning river. But a lot of the time Rio is also associated with Rio de Janeiro, which is in Brazil. One of my top favorite names in the list that I definitely predict to boom in 2021 is the name Jude, spelled J-U-D-E, Jude. I think it's just so sweet. It's Latin originated, meaning praise. Then for number six here, I'm obsessed. This is actually on my top, top, top names list right now. And it's the name Bramble. It's spelled B-R-A-M-B-L-E, Bramble. So this is a nature name, actually a nature name meaning blackberry shrub. And with nature names right now just being on the rise, I feel like a lot of parents are out there or people in general are really trying to find those unique nature names that haven't been used yet. And with Bramble being completely unranked, this one needs to fall onto your name list. Then I have the name Kylan, spelled K-Y-L-E-N, Kylan. And this one's a modern play on the Scottish name Kylan meaning narrow spit of land. An Arabic name I have on the list here is the name Layan, spelled L-A-Y-A-N, Layan. It's a little bit more of a softer name and it literally means soft and gentle. And I was like, what? This is so perfect for the sound of the name, Layan. Very soft and very gentle in sound. For this next name here, I have a few options just because they sound very similar. So I feel like they all kind of fall into that same category. So I have the name Hayes, which is a nature name meaning mystery. Misty air. I also had the name Hazen, so with the E-N, Hazen, and this one means hedged area. And then I have the name Haven, H-A-V-E-N, Haven. And this one means safe place or refuge. All of them have that really soft and sweet sound to them. They all have nature ties within them. And Haven is the most popular, the most trending right now. Haze is not too far behind. And then if you wanna go really unique, but still have that same feel, Hazen is completely unranked on all of the charts. Another sweet name here on the list, which actually has a virtue meaning, is the name Loen, spelled L-O-E-N, Loen. I am in love with this spelling. It's actually a variant of the Cornish name Loen with the W-E-N, meaning joy. The next one here, guys, this one I am just in love with for everyone, and I don't care how trending it is. It honestly needs to be on everybody's list. It's the name Arlo, spelled A-R-L-O, Arlo. Guys, Good Dinosaur. Honestly, ever since that movie, that Disney movie, if you haven't seen it, you gotta go watch it. I just can't get over this name, Arlo. I think it's just so precious, 
very sweet. It's a place name and it's a literary name, but it means free man. Moving on to an L-E-Y ending name, a very trendy ending portion for a name is the name Henley. It's spelled H-E-N-L-E-Y or H-E-N-L-I. There's a bunch of different ways you can end that one and it's English originated meaning high meadow. Next one here, actually I recently uploaded onto Instagram. It was a newfound gem of mine and that's the name Morley. Spell M-O-R-L-E-Y, Morley. You can do that nickname Maury and it's English originated meaning moor or meadow clearing. So Henley and Morley could be really cool L-E-Y ending sibling names that are completely genderless. Okay, switching this one up here, guys, let me know if you guys have been seeing this here or there, but it's the name Walker, spelled W-A-L-K-E-R, Walker. It's an English occupational name meaning cloth walker. I've actually seen two babies on Instagram recently, a little boy named Walker Rome and a little girl named Walker June be born, literally in a span of like a week amongst each other. Then speaking of Rome, I have Rome here next, but spell R-O-A-M. Now this is a great alternative spelling, which is actually a word name meaning to explore or to wander. Rome. Next is the name Makoa, spell M-A-K-O-A-H, Makoa. You don't have to have the H either. There's really the two different spellings. And this one's Hawaiian originated, meaning brave man. Another place inspired name here that is not really often used is the name Berlin, spelled B-E-R-L-I-N, Berlin. How cool is this one? So it's a German originated name, meaning borderline, and it is the German capital, Berlin in Germany. So I thought this is a a really cool place name definitely a little bit more uncommon and unusual but as you guys can see it's definitely rising for both boys and for girls so again a really great genderless place name I have another German originated name here it's the name Kahlo spelled K-A-H-L-O Kahlo the meaning it means bald but Guys, it's been up 11,000 spots on the name charts between 2020 and 2021 for boys. So something about this name, maybe because of Kai, maybe because of Kylo, it has just been a hot commodity. It's been a topic of conversation for many parents, many people looking for names. Then just like Bramble, I was trying to find some really cool earthy and nature names. So I have another one here, definitely a little bit bold, but I think it's so fun. It's the name bamboo spelled b-a-m-b-o-o -O, bamboo now i actually saw on instagram forgot who it was but someone actually has their son named bamboo and i thought it was so cool definitely had to add it on for those nature lovers out there all right so to switch it up here a literary name on the list i have the name rillian spelled r-i-l-i-a-n rillian this one is so cool so it's german originated meaning small stream so it has some nature elements and then it's also a male character in the chronicles of narnia next name option here i have the name avius so A-V-I-A-S, Avius. So it's a Hebrew variant, meaning God is my father. Girl, you can do a nickname Ava or Avi, and then Avi for a boy, Avius. I have a beachy boho -y name here. It's the name Daze, so D-A-Z-E. It's a word meaning bewilder. Then we have the name Caro, so C-A-R-O, and it's Italian originated meaning deer, or it's French and English originated meaning free man. Next one here, I have two spelling options here for you. I have the name Silky, S-I-L-K-I-E, or Silken, S-I-L-K-E-N. This one is a completely unranked name, but I thought it just sounded kind of cool. It has a little bit of a surname sound to it as well, but it's actually derived from the word silk, so it means made of silk. Then I have the name Aysen, spelled A-Y-C-E-N, Aysen. So it's a mix of Aiden and Ace, which is totally cool. You can have that nickname Ace or AC, and it means little fiery one. A musically inspired inspired name here next with a little bit of a futuristic flair to it is the name Lyrics. Spell L-Y-R-I-X. Lyrics. That is a cool, definitely futuristic spelling. You can also do with a C on the end, Lyric, or Lyrics with the C-S. I've been loving musical names. 
tempo, verse, lyric, rhythm. Like I've been just in love with those. They're always a little bit more bolder and I feel a little bit more braver to use. So they're always gonna kind of remain in that unique and uncommon category, which is kind of a plus for a lot of parents who really love those sorts of names. Number 27 on the list, I know a lot of you guys are gonna love this, is the name Renly, spelled W-R-E-N-L-E-Y. This is such a great longer variation with that nickname Ren. Speaking of animals, I have the name Corley, spelled C-O-R-L-E-Y, Corley. This one's Old English originated, and this meaning is kind of cute. It means crane of the woodland clearing. Then we have the name Collins, spelled C-O-L-L-I-N-S, Collins. This one's an Irish and Scottish originated name with also an animal inspired meaning, meaning pup. Look at where it's standing, at 504 for the girls and 613 for the boys. This is neck and neck and this is just a booming surname inspired name right now. All right, so to switch it up a bit, a Hebrew name here next, I actually have two options for you. It's the name Azariah. So A-Z-A-R-I-A-H, Azariah. And then a shorter form, which means the exact same thing, is the name Azari. So A-Z-A-R-I, Azari. I thought both of these were really great. They're more modern and futuristic sounding, but they're Hebrew originated, meaning helped by God. Okay, this next one here is definitely bold and Davian actually added it to the list. And I was like, you know what? This is a great option for something a little bit more just that wow factor actor name. It's the name Mosaic spelled M-O-S-A-I-C, mosaic. It definitely has that artsy, creative kind of vibe, but it's a word name meaning art created of colored glass. Now, a few nicknames here. You can do Mosey, maybe for a girl, and then for a boy, you can have Zayek. Zayek for a boy, but full name, Mosaic. I have an A name here next. It's the name Amory, spelled A-M-O-R-Y, Amory. And it's English originated meaning home ruler. Then we have the classic name Logan, spelled L-O-G-A-N, Logan. And this one's Scottish originated meaning little hollow. Another short Hebrew option here is the name Azel, spelled A-Z-E-L. Azel. Doesn't this have those familiar sounds like Axel or even Hazel? I think I kind of made it up, but then when I looked at it, it's a Hebrew name. Obviously, it's already a name, meaning reserved. Then there's the name Halo, spelled H-A-L-O. This one's an American word name, meaning circular celestial light around the moon, around the sun, or even on top of a saint. It's ranking more so for the boys and the girls in 2021 so far. Is that not a shocker to you or what? It was the most shocking thing I saw for this list. So moving on to number 36. I'm still stunned by Halo. What? All right, 36 guys. Number 36 is the name Eleven. So E-L-E-V-E-N, Eleven. So Eleven is obviously a number, but it actually symbolizes balance, energy, and vision. There's a bunch of different nicknames that can really be stemmed from this. You can do Ellie, you can do Levin, you can even do LV or Elva, any kind of cool, E-L beginning names. Number 37 on the list, I have the name Riven. So R-I-V-E-N, Riven. I thought this was kind of cool. A little bit reminds me of River, but River to me is just one of those names that are just everybody's been wanting, everybody wants, and it's now becoming a little too popular for me. So this one's English from Norse originated, meaning to split. Then for a Z name on the list, I have the name Zarin. So Z-E-R-E-N, Zarin. And this one's a unique animal name meaning Mongolian gazelle. Another surname on the list here, this one has a little bit of a naturey meaning, is the name Wrigley. So W-R-I-G-L-E-Y, Wrigley. I love the sound of this name. It makes me smile every time I say it. So it's an English surname meaning clearing by the river bend. Then to switch it up completely, I have the name Taro. So T-A-R-O, Taro. It's Japanese originated meaning greatest or eldest child or eldest son. Then a name similar to Aslan, but I really needed to add it to the list. It's the name Arlan, spelled A-R-L-A-N-D. A little bit of a different feel without the Z, A-R, 
Arland. Really different, and this one's Gaelic originated, meaning pledged or oath. A short name option here on the list is the name Noe, spelled N-O-E, and this one's a Greek and Latin variant of Noah, meaning rest. Now for a Spanish name here, Spanish from Hebrew originated name, it's the name Gyro, spelled J-A-I-R-O, Gyro. And the meaning of this one is just, oh, I love it. It means God enlightens or he who shines. We've made it down the list here, about six more names. So this one here is the name Keone, spelled K-E-O-N-I, Keone. This one's Hawaiian originated, meaning God is gracious. Then I have the name Sorian, spelled S-O-R-I-E-N, Sorian. So this one's an alternative to the Danish name Sorin, meaning stern. Then very similar to Halo, but I have the name Alo, spelled A-Y-L-O, Alo. Let me know what you think of this one. It kind of gives off this halo, but a mixed with Kylo kind of vibes here. You like mix them together, you have Alo. I thought it was cool, but this one has possible African roots, meaning one who sees seeds, and it could be a variant of Halo as well. But Alo is unranked, as opposed to Halo, which is just booming on those charts. Number 47 on the list. This one's kind of a two-parter depending on which way you wanna go. I have the name Sully, S-U-L-L-Y, Sully, or Soli, spelled S-O-L-Y or S-O-L-L-Y. There's a few different spelling variations for this one, but it's derived from French and English roots, meaning from the South Meadow. Next, I have the name Lo, spelled L-O-W-E, Lo. And this one's a French variant, meaning young wolf. So it has some really strong, like for a soft sounding name, has this like wolf, this courage, this leader kind of meaning behind it with those animal inspirations. I have the name Malin, spelled M-A-L-I-N, and this one's both a Scandinavian or English originated name, meaning high tower or strong little warrior. Then that brings me to my very final name on this list here, which was I was kind of surprised at for it being on the boy side, but genderless now is the name Artemis, spelled A-R-T-E-M-I-S. Artemis. So Artemis in Greek mythology is the goddess of the hunt and moon. And this one I feel has probably made its way over onto the boy side as well because a lot of male character names, especially in some fantasy series, even the movie Artemis Fowl as of recently are all male characters. So I thought that was really cool. Regardless if it's a god or a goddess, I feel like it just always has those strong meanings behind them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this 50 genderless name list. I love it and I love how a lot of these names are just becoming into that middle ground that can work for anyone and that's exactly what the intent was behind this video. Take care, I hope you guys are staying safe, and I'll see you guys next Sunday with another Baby Names List. Bye!